Hello, this is Bruce with Webicator. In this video, I'm going to show you a solution Joe Olson came up with that involved creating visual best bets and recommended results in SharePoint 2013. Joel agreed to let us create this video showing his solution, which is available as an article on his blog at the URL shown here. For this demonstration, the page that I want to link to the recommended results and the visual best bet is this view of this Contoso calendar. I have a separate Search Center site collection that I'm going to switch my browser to, and this is where I'm going to create my recommended results. Now in SharePoint 2013, recommended results are associated or tied with query rules. So I'm going to navigate to my site settings, and I can create query rules either as site collection query rules, or I can create query rules at just the site level. For this demonstration, I'll create query rules under the Site Collection Administration. So I'll use the link Search Query Rules. This opens up and I have to select a source before it will show me the existing query rules. So the source that I'm going to use for this demo is going to be the local SharePoint results. Once I select that my dropdown, it will come back and show me the existing query rules most of them being provided by SharePoint. But when I want to promote my own result, I'm going to create my own new query rule. So I'll click that link. And for the name of my query rule, I'm going to name it Holiday Schedule. And then I have an option for the query conditions. In this example, I'm going to leave the query conditions set to Query Matches Keyword Exactly. And then I'm going to enter, using a comma-separated list, the number of phrases that I want to link to. So I've got in my list holiday, holiday schedule, time off. For each term that I want to link to that the user might search with, I separate with a semicolon. So once I've got the conditions set, then if I scroll down a little bit, I have actions. And it's through the actions that I'm going to create a promoted result. So I have an option titled Add Promoter Result that I'm going to click. And then this opens a dialog where I can give my particular promoter result a title. And for this one, I'll add in Holiday Schedule. And I also have an option to render the URL as a banner. We're going to come back and do that for the best bet. But for right now, I just want to add the address for my team site and the Contoso calendar list that I've got in that team site. So I've gone ahead and entered that entire URL, and I'm just going to click the Save option to save that. And I can see that that shows up as a promoter result. I'll save this new query rule, and then we'll go ahead and test it out. So to test it out, I'm going to go to the home page of my search site, type in one of my query rule terms, holiday, in this example, hit return, and I can see in my search results that there is my promoted result. So now I want to add a image or visual to go with my promoted result. And in earlier versions of SharePoint, this was commonly referred to as a visual best bet. But to set this up, I'm going to go ahead and add, or I've already added, the image to my search center. So just to verify that, I'll go to my site contents. And then I've got under my images folder, I've got a little holiday looking image that I want to link to with this promoted result, but I want to show the image instead of the actual URL or the text with the URL. So now I'll navigate back to my site settings, back to my search query rules. Again, choose my local SharePoint results. And I'm going to edit the query rule that I created earlier, the holiday schedule. But now I'm going to add a new promoter result. So I'm going to click the same link I added before. And this time we'll call it holiday pick. I need to give it a URL to my image. So I've already got the address of my image typed in. You can see it there that goes to my publishing images that's part of my search center. I'll get the best results by having the images on my search center, although really you can point to any image out there, but for it to show up properly, the user will have to have access rights to whatever image you link here. Also, the image should be approximately 500 pixels wide 
by 100 pixels high. Otherwise, SharePoint will trim it off. So if you size the image accordingly, you don't have to worry about it cropping your image uh, in a fashion that you don't like. But to get to show the image, I need to check the box that is labeled render the URL as a banner instead of as a hyperlink. I'll save my setting. And now I can see that both of my promoter results show up, but I want the picture to show above the actual link. So I'm going to change the numbering order of my promoter results, set my holiday pick to one, and then the holiday schedule, which actually has the link the URL to two. Save that. Go back to the search page in my search center. Type in my search term or one of my search terms, holiday in this case. And now I can see a nice graphical image on top of the actual URL that the user can click to go to the search schedule. And that's it. Very simple, very easy to do, and gives you very good control over the search results page for your search sites. Well, thanks again to Joel Olson for the inspiration for this video. You can find more articles by Joel at collabshow.com. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it.